outside. I have an Etsy shop where I sell handmade surf and beach inspired jewelry. And I also have an Instagram account. It's Alma Surfside 7. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, uh, you can keep up with my latest designs. And I, of course, have been doing a lot of beading tutorials uh, over the last couple of months. And this is another one of the designs that I'd like to go over today. So it's a kite shape for sure. Um, it has a bar going across the diamond and it's embellished by 15 over zero seed beads on the outside. And it has uh, 11 over zero white beads at each of the points. So I think it's a very uh, elegant necklace. I'll show it uh, a little bit closer to the camera. This is what it looks like up close. And um, I think it's very modern and uh, it's just a very clean design. So what you'll need in terms of materials today are fire line. And I always use 0 .006. And of course you can use wildfire or nylon thread as long as it's roughly the same size. You'll also need bugle beads. And these are number two bugles in light gold SL, which I'm assu assuming means silver lined. And I've used these before in another tutorial and I was just, you know, blown away by the quality and uh, the color of the, of the gold is just exceptional. So if you can get a hold of these, all the better. And if not, uh, use another color. We'll also be using 11 over zero white seed beads. And these are in opaque luster. These are by Toho. You'll also need gold galvanized seed beads. And these are 11 over zero, again by Toho. And finally, you'll need 15 over zero gold galvanized beads. And again, by Toho. That's uh, usually the, my go-to brand just because of the price point. But of course, you could use Miyuki or any other brand that you, that you prefer. Okay, so get your uh, beading needle out and your, your fire line or whatever thread you're using. I always start with an arm's length worth of thread and then I add on as I run out. Okay, so that's a good guideline. You will need a lot of thread for this project. I should mention that up front. Um, just because you have to go through the, the kite shape several times. And you'll see what I mean when you watch the tutorial that it really does require a lot of different passes in order to uh, make a strong shape. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind. If you're low on thread, you might want to stock up and then get started on this project a little bit later. Okay, okay so what I didn't mention in the intro is that you'll also need two jump rings and a lobster claw to finish off your necklace. And it's also helpful to have flat nose pliers just to be able to um, bend the, the jump rings, okay? So once you have your thread and your beading needle attached, what you're gonna do is pick up a gold bugle, white seed bead, gold bugle, white seed bead, another gold, white, gold, and white. Okay, so that's what you should have on your needle. You should have a total of four bugle beads and four seed beads. Okay, push them down on your thread. And I always like to leave about a six to 10 inch tail just so that I can finish off my piece later. So what you're gonna do at this point is create a knot, okay? So take your needle, go through the inside of the circle, and then go the opposite direction, okay? Okay, so I finished the knot. I'm just pulling out the uh, tail there. 
And what you're going to do is insert your needle through, let's see here, the white seed bead and the first bugle bead. Okay, so that's your diamond shape there. And what we're going to do is embellish the outside of the diamond shape with more bugle beads. Okay, so I'll pick up another number two bugle and I'm going to go through the opposite side of the bugle that I'm coming out of. Pull tight on my thread. Okay, if it's not sitting side by side, you could repeat that step. Just going through the top bugle and the bottom bugle again. And then I'm going to take my needle and go down the white seed bead and the next bugle bead. I'm going to pick up another bugle and I'm going to go through the opposite side. Okay. Pull tight on my thread. That's what you should have so far. Okay. Go through the next white seed bead as well as the next bugle. Pick up another bugle bead and go through the opposite side. Again, repeat. Okay, so that completes the first part of our segment. And then what I want you to do is put your needle through the white seed bead right here. Pick up another bugle bead. And now we're gonna create the bar that's gonna go across this kite shape. So I'm coming out of the bottom part of the white seed bead, and then I'm gonna insert my needle into this side of the opposite seed bead. Okay, so coming out the bottom and then going up the seed bead on the left. Okay, then I'm gonna go back down through the bugle. And I'm gonna go through the white seed bead as well as the bugle bead on the outside. Pull in my thread, okay? Then I'm gonna go through the top bugle bead. And I'm gonna pick up a total of four 15 over zero gold galvanized beads. Okay, so these are 15 over zeros. It depends on the brand that you're using, right? So if you're using, let's say, Miyuki or another brand, and, you know, for some reason the, the sizing is slightly different on each bead, you might get away with three going in between these two bugles here on the outside of your shape. But in my case, I've decided to go with four. Okay, so play around with it, see what fits, see what looks good to you but I would recommend four if you're using Toho. Okay, I just went down the, uh, the bugle bead on the outside of the subsequent set. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my needle, I'm gonna go back through the bugle bead sitting on the inside of the shape and the white seed bead. And then I'm gonna go up the last bugle bead. And the point of doing that is just so I can get in line with the outside sequence again, because I want to go through it with my thread just to make it stronger and make sure that all of these 15 over zeros sit nice and tight on the outside of my shape. Okay, so I'm going to go through the bugle and all of the 15 over zeros. as well as the, the bottom bugle.
Okay, so that just helps the 15 over 0 sit nicely on the outside. And then because I'm on the outside bugle, I have to get my thread down into the next bugle. And I'm going to go through the white seed bead. Then I'm going to go across, okay, so across the middle. And then up the bugle on the inside of the shape right here. And then put my needle through the top of these, the next bugle sitting on, on, on top of the one that I just went through. Okay, so now I've reached the outside of my kite shape and I'm ready again for another four of the 15 over zero seed beads. Okay, go through the next bugle bead. Okay, that's what you should have. And to make it stronger, I'm going to go through the inside of the shape. And now again, I'm going to go through that outer layer, okay, with my needle just to make it stronger. Okay, I'm finished, so now I need to go back down the inside of the shape. And pull on your thread. Okay, and now I'm back up at the top, and I can put my needle through the white seed bead in the center. And pull on my thread. Okay, so the first shape is complete and now I'm going to create a circle which is going to help me connect to the next shape. So to do the circle I'm going to pick up a total of six gold seed beads and 11 over 0 and I'm going to go through the opposite side of the white seed bead. Okay, so that creates my circle shape and then I'm going to go up through the first three of those seed beads. I'm going to add a white 11 over 0. Go down all of the beads. until I get up through the white seed bead, okay? Okay, so now that I've reached the top of my circle and I'm coming out of the white seed bead, I'm ready to start another shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up one bugle, one white seed bead, bugle, white bead, Bugle, white bead, and one more bugle. Okay, so that's what you should have on your thread. You should have a total of four bugles and three white seed beads. The reason why we're not doing four seed beads is because we already have one attached to the circle. Okay, go through the opposite side. And what I like to do is go through that shape again with my needle, just to make it a little bit stronger so it's not so wobbly when it's sitting on your neck. And 
pull tight on your thread. Okay, now I'm gonna put my needle in the bugle, the white seed bead, and go up through the next bugle. Okay, now that I'm at the top of my shape, I'm gonna pick up a gold bugle bead. I'm gonna go through the opposite side Pull tight. I'm going to go through the white seed bead at the very top and the next bugle. Pick up another bugle, go through the opposite side. Okay, just working my way around the shape and I'm just adding bugles to the outside. Okay, so I finished going around my shape and adding bugles to the outside ring. And now that I've reached this point, I'm going to go through the white seed bead. And then I'll be ready to create the bar. Okay, so the bar is going to go across the middle of my diamond. And I'm going to pick up another bugle. I'm coming out of this seed bead going up. So now I'm going to go down on the opposite side. Okay, right there. Now I need to go down the bugle bead. And I need to go up the seed bead. Okay, and then also through the bugle bead that's part of the diamond shape. Now I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to go through the bugle sitting on the outside of my diamond. And I'm ready to pick up four of the 15 over zero gold beads. Okay, and then I just need to go down the next bugle bead on the outside. To reinforce it, I'm going to go through the inner part of that shape. Climb up to the top. And now I'm ready to go down the outside again. Okay, you need to go through all of the 15 over 0 seed beads as well as the bugle bead at the bottom. Okay, so that's the outside of your shape, finished. And then I'm gonna go through the bugle, the white seed bead on the inside. I'm gonna go through the middle part of our kite shape. And then I'm gonna go through this bugle bead right here. Okay, and now I'm ready to embellish the outside of my shape. So I'm going to go through the top bugle right up here. And I'm going to pick up another four of my 15 over zeros. Right there. And I'm going to go through the next bugle bead sitting on the outside of my shape pull on my thread, climb back up to the top, going through the inner part of the shape. And now I'm ready to reinforce that outer ring by going through all of those beads again.
Okay, so my shape is complete. If I turn it so it's sitting upright, I'm ready to go through the white seed bead that's in the center of my shape. Okay, and now as you guessed, we're gonna do another circle and that's gonna be a connector to our next shape. So to do that circle, you're gonna pick up a total of six of the gold seed beads. You're going to go through the opposite side of the white seed bead. Go through three of the gold seed beads that you just added on. Okay, and now you're ready for a white seed bead. Go through the next three. Okay, so that's what can, creates your connector shape. And then of course you're gonna have to step up by going through three of the golds and one of the white seed beads. Okay, so our piece is coming along. As you can see, it's a very repetitive pattern. And I'm gonna go through it once more. So you're going to pick up one of the bugle beads, one of the white seed beads, bugle bead, white bead, bugle bead, white bead, and one more bugle. Okay, so you should have a total of four bugle beads and three seed beads. And you can push those down on your needle and go through the opposite side of the white seed bead sitting at the top of your circle. Okay, so that's what creates our diamond. Again, I would recommend going through that diamond one more time just to make it a little bit stronger. And you'll notice that you, you're probably running out of thread at this point. And that's what I meant at the beginning of the video. Um, so it does require a lot of thread because you're using, you know, your needle a lot and you're, you're making multiple passes through the shape. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of different parts to the diamond shape. Okay, so you should be going through the white seed bead at the bottom and then put your needle up through the bugle on the right, as well as the seed bead, the bugle at the top. Okay, and then I'm gonna pick up another bugle bead and go through the opposite side. Pull tight on your thread, that's very, very important. Go around your shape, keep repeating. Okay, so I just noticed that my needle slipped off of the thread because it's getting very short. So I'm just going to pause the video and I'm going to add more thread on, which means tying it on to my shape. Okay, so I've tied on some more thread and you can see the knots right there. So that's where I decided to attach it to. And I'm going to continue on by going down the seed bead as well as the next bugle bead. I'm going to pick up an extra bugle go through the opposite side as we've been doing all along. Pull tight. Go through the seed bead. Okay. 
Okay, and then I'm ready for another bugle bead. Okay, so your shape should be complete. Okay, at least your diamond shape. And now to do the kite shape, we're gonna do the center part of the kite by going through the white seed bead. And I've picked up a bugle bead, and then I'm gonna go down the opposite side in the white seed bead. Go back through the bugle sitting in the center of your shape. And then go up the white seed bead as well as the bugle bead. Okay, so the bar should be going across your shape at this point and the diamond shape should be complete. Now that I've come up the top of this bugle bead at the top of my shape, I'm going to go down on the right hand side and now I'm ready for four of my 15 over zero seed beads. Okay, go down the bugle bead at the bottom of your shape. I'm just going up through the, the inner ring of my diamond. And then I'm ready to go back down all of those beads on the outside just to make it stronger. Okay, so the right side's done. Now I need to go up the bugle on the inner ring. as well as the seed bead. We're gonna go across the middle, middle of our shape by going through the bugle bead sitting right down there. And then you can go through the bugle bead right up here, okay? We're just trying to get our needle lined up so that we can get to the the outer ring of our kite shape, okay? And then I'm gonna go through this bugle, pick up another four of my 15 over zeros. Okay, go down the next bugle, pull in my thread, Going up the inner ring, okay, and that gets me lined up for going down the outer ring one last time just to make sure it's strong. Okay, our shape is complete and now all I have to do is get back up to the top. Okay, so at this point, I'm ready for another circle. And to do that circle, you're just gonna do what you did before. So you're gonna add on six of the gold seed beads. You're gonna go through those once. And then the second time you go through, you're gonna add a white seed bead after you've gone through three of the gold seed beads so that it sits at the top of your circle. And then you're ready to do another of your kite shapes. Okay, so that's that's the pattern. I think it's uh, pretty straightforward once you get the hang of it. Uh, if you need to watch the video again, 
um, I encourage you to do that. It's it's definitely worth the effort. I think it's it really pays off with this design. And the biggest thing is that you need a lot of thread, obviously, because you're you're working through the shape many many different times, and uh, it just helps if you have that those extra supplies on hand. Okay, so now that you've reached the end of your necklace, you're ready to do the closure. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I did a simple circle closure. Okay, so it's just three gold seed beads, one white, and another three gold. And I didn't even um, create a point with the white because it, it's not really necessary for closure. You're just going to have jump rings and a lobster claw going through. So um, anyways, I'll show you how to do it on the opposite side. Okay, so I'm coming out of the white seed bead at the top of my kite shape. And I'm going to pick up a total of three gold seed beads in 11 over 0, one of the white, and another three of the gold. Okay, that's what you should have on your needle. And you're going to go through the opposite side and pull tight. Okay. And then you're just going to reinforce that circle by going through all of the beads that you just added on. Pull tight on your thread. Make sure that you don't have any thread coming out of the circle. Okay, so the closure is done. And then you're going to go through your shape. So in this case, I'm going through the inner ring of my diamond. Okay, and I'm coming out of the white seed bead. And then I can put my needle through the middle of my shape. And then go through the, the inside of the 15 over zeros. Okay. Go through the loop. Pull on my thread. And make a knot. Okay. So the knot's more or less hidden, right? Because you're you're in between the seed bead and your bugle. So I felt that that was you know a good place to to hide it. And then I can go down the next bugle. And then go through the inside. And create a knot at the base. And pull as tight as you can. Okay. And at this point, I can cut off my excess thread. Try to cut it as close as possible to your shape so that you don't have a lot of extra thread hanging out of your necklace. And you're going to pick up your flat nose pliers and one of your jump rings. And you're going to open it up. Insert it through the closure that you just created. Close it up and then pick up your other jump ring as well as your lobster claw and insert it through the opposite side, okay? So there you go, the necklace is done. And then of course to close it, you can just open up your lobster claw and insert your jump ring. And that's what's gonna hold the piece together. Okay. So anyways, that's the finished uh, kite shape necklace. It's uh, very much embellished and uh, I think it looks really high end because of all of the detail. And um, the connectors are very simple but effective. I think it's nice to have the contrast of the kite and the circles side by side. I think it just uh, really works well together. And uh, I don't know, it looks very uh, futuristic to me. It's um, definitely designer. I th my mom mentioned that it looked like, you know, a Gucci style necklace. <laughs> I don't know if it achieves that level, but uh, it's uh, definitely a, a designer look, I think. And um, I hope you had fun making it. I know it's, it's not an easy necklace to do. It does take time and effort, but I think it does really pay off. And this is something that I'll be wearing for many years to come. So I'm, I'm glad that uh, I stuck with it and I created an entire necklace and um, 
yeah so anyways i hope you enjoyed my tutorial don't forget to subscribe comment and like and uh, i'll see you in the next one okay bye for now